I'll read a post right now. Mm. Democrats and Nazis created lies to distract from their own guilt. But what the fuck? And then I read the next post. <laughs> Every man thinketh his burden is the heaviest. And he- is the heaviest. The heaviest. Heaviest. The heaviest. heaviest. And then it has Bob Marley smoking a joint. <laughs> what the fuck, Internet? The Internet is, is a Is that the Internet or Reddit? This is fucking Google+. Plus. What the hell is what? It's like Facebook, but for cool people. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Google, the Google Plus tried to make, like, they were even saying they were going to, like, be better than Facebook, but yeah, it's, like, the, it's, one of the most boring not, fucking things. It's not. It's hard to navigate. They create communities that you can go to and get, you know, yeah, information I, from I, themes that you like. Oh, yeah. they just got message it boards. It seems to be polarizing, freaking absurd content for no reason that people just like to put out there. Just oh, so I can put garbage. something like... Um, diarrhea and found corn in my diarrhea again. They put a picture of Bill Clinton. Yeah, the, the corn in the diarrhea made a picture of Bill Clinton. Was, yeah, the people like like that on Google Plus. Yeah, yeah pretty that's much cool. If they like it, they upload it, and then they'll start talking about it. Oh, this, oh my god, this is great stuff! The, the, every, I find oh, corn in my diarrhea not too much. Every time though. I hear this, it just reminds me of that fucking Metal Gear clip where it was just like it's just it's just nonsense, just uh, just a whole unfiltered basically web of in, in trite information that nobody's ever going to fucking use, yeah. but people put it out there anyway because you can. Seriously, though, I think it's just a spark conversation that it, has no basis to it. Yeah, just that's, like, just that's like the thing. Just like throwing shit out there. You're My shirt is yellow. Anything. Is that an app or is it just on your phone? It's an app. Google Plus. Well, it's yeah. also, it's on the computer it's too. Yeah. Computer. It's like, yeah, it's a social media Google thing. Drive, Google Drive, Yeah, all YouTube the Google... And- the Google Boobles. Boobles stuff. Yeah. The Google was the Boobles. The, the Google so Boobles. So what do you... So you open on your phone, and it's just a homepage of what? Uh, Just the feed of stuff. Like, the first one is... Oh, I guess it was Stan Lee's birthday yesterday. Who the fuck is Stan Lee? Stan Lee. Oh, Stan... Oh, they just one <laughs> name, like, Stan Lee. I was like... I was like... I was just Stan Lee. Like, we knew Stan this guy. Lee. You know Stan Lee. Stan Lee. <laughs> yeah. Stan Lee's na- short. I mean, How old is he? Like, 92? <laughs> is he 92? <laughs> no, you're never gonna get out of your head. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Is he 100 probably. yet? He's like 70, 80. He's, he's, he's not definitely, 78. He's definitely he's almost dead. He's got to be in the 90s. He's, he's on the top five list for one of those people who's probably going to die in 2018. That fucker saw the yeah, first dude. Bugs Bunny cartoon. He has right. to be in his 90s. He's pretty fucking old. He's an old man. Well, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Welcome to the Bad Depends Podcast. Every week we try to bring you the best come up and some down up and some of the potluck that we call the Internet Information Superhighway. I am here with... Yole, hey. And... I'm over at the Compoopers. I'm a Ferg. My name is <laughs> what? Tony. My name I, is... I introduced myself. Goddamn! I don't take orders from nobody. I'm a Ferg. I don't know what <laughs> I'm <meant>. a Ferg. <laughs> That's how he pointed. Uh, my name. Oh, was... I didn't see you point. My name was Mantanza. Oh, my ra- I thought that said raping rabbits. Oh no, rapping rabbit Those oral hy- hygienist. Do we are? We definitely what do. What the fuck, say? Yeah, one of our first <laughs> guests. <laughs> <I think evil. laughs> Like being evil, I haven't seen you in such a long time. How are you doing? How are your holidays? As I sit on my therapist's couch and just talk. Oh, what's yeah, you, happening? Yeah, you, you look like you have like a lot How's to say today. Mess? Like you're, you're talking about your fucking your dark past. Yeah. And Stanley is ninety five, by the way. Ninety five. This mother seventy eight. That was seventy eight. I thought seventy eighties. No, that's too far off. Born, that, born in nineteen twenty two. That dude's older than his bones. Damn. <laughs> I'm not sure that makes any sense, but it's funny. <laughs> Guys, how are the holidays? Huh? Uh-huh. Pretty good. Pretty holiday, good. I mean, holiday. my my holiday. family is less crazy now that we're all adults. Mm. I've learned that's kind of what happened. Because when you're a kid, your family feels far more dysfunctional. At least mine does. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know. Because you're less sure of like where they're coming. Because I only see my, my extended family like literally only for the holidays. Like I, I only see my cousin's. Pretty much exclusively on Thanksgiving, on sometimes holidays. birthdays and yeah. Christmas. So like, I always just were fucking. I always never felt like I felt like fit in. So when I grew older, I'm like, oh, everyone's actually pretty cool and nice. Also, it helps that like, so my my uh, Jeremy, if you're watching this, this is just uh, don't don't take this against me. Um, I never really related to my aunt Sherry for a long time, but she also dated a dude who sucked. Yeah. So you were some bad relationship could really change people. So now she's in like a relationship with this dude who's like a normal guy and he's actually funny. Uh-huh. And he's like one of those guys I can like like I would actually like to bring him for a recording because I quit back and forth with him like all the time. Mm-hmm. Like some of the weirdest like like it's like intellectual bullshit if it makes any like it's just jokes that are like funny and have a, some sort of smart 
twist to them, but they don't mean fucking anything, and yeah. they and it actually is usually disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. If that makes any cool sense. You find that like through family and like all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. like oh shit, I just hit myself in the face with a mic. Good shit. Um, yeah, with family, you kind of just like find those like people you kind of relate to that you don't normally talk to. I mean, I kind of had that with my uncle. Like, he just got out of jail. And we were just like talking, and then we were playing basketball, and we just started all connecting and like just chilling. It was kind of just like yeah, that's nice. Family's nice. How was your Sogi? Probably one of the weirdest uh, Christmases. My parents are out of town, so it was probably one of the first Christmases without them. Oh, that's, that's so, bizarre. Um, Where'd they go? Nigeria. Oh, okay. And um, so I went to my aunt's house later that day, but it's just filled with drinking. <laughs> so it's <was> just <laughs> fucking drinking since Thanksgiving. I'm dying. <laughs> Everyone has a higher tolerance than me, but also at the couple of family members, Olu, they've seen him on the channel, his sister and brother-in-law, they've been staying with us with the four-year-old, so it's been a lot of uh, spending more time with my dogs than I plan to, and <laughs> trying to babysit as well. Aye. It's very, uh, very interesting. So basically double babysitting? Yeah. That's some, yeah. That sounds fucking rough. Other than that, Chris was just chill. Yeah. With my cousin's boyfriend, that was funny. <laughs> She's like 20, we're like, oh, who's this nigga? Uh, <laughs> are you invisible? Colin's over I, there. No, I am his yeah. foot. No, I am his foot. <laughs> and I, I, I have also ingested the microphone, so it's just, it's just always there. I'm like Jack Black and Master Exploder, <laughs> or he just, he's just loud and he just doesn't need a microphone. You just reinstall the Twitch app is garbage. It's actually better, dude. I don't know why on the Samsung Mac is actually, it's actually godly on Samsung. Really? It sucks on iPhone. It's good on this fucking thing. I haven't had any problems. It. Well, I just use it for like typing. That's about it. I fucking, I shouldn't have updated it. I shouldn't have updated the Reddit app and the Twitch app. Hmm. Fuck. I don't like the Reddit. I can't updates. watch videos on the Reddit app anymore. I can't watch Twitter shit. I have to like click on it to go to open in Safari. And if it's a streamable video or whatever now. Can we talk about Fucking first world problem? Apple and how shitty it's gotten over the years. Ah, well, God. You, you heard they were they were stopping people's phones, like they were slowing down older models of phones on purpose. That's what I was talking to Toki about the mm -hmm. other day. And they were putting in older batteries into newer phones so that the phone can handle, you know, processing large apps. So for example, Snapchat, if your phone is a newer version it would take a lot for it to, you know, process all the filters and all that stuff. So they put an older battery in there so it could slow down phone so it could process the, the, the app mm -hmm. pretty much. So they're using old hardware in newer phones. But you, So the old hardware is supposed to keep up with the capacity of you using, like, all that stuff, but it obviously doesn't because it it's doesn't. an older fucking battery? Yeah, so your battery would... Wouldn't last long. Steve I guess Jobs so. fucking us over from beyond the grave. <sighs> well, luckily it's not Steve Jobs. I'm I know. sure he had a different it's, direction. It's, it's Tim Timothy Tim, Mc, 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 McMullen or what the fuck his name is. Tim cooking up some. That's bullshit. it. There we go. Yeah. Tim cooking up some Tim bad up crack. Some How long are you sitting on that one? You just come up with that joke. I now. just came up with it. All okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Bad crack. Respect. 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 Blah 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 blah. Cause you. Oh my god. Some RPG emo. That's that's pies emo. Did you guys get anything weird for Christmas? Oh, dude. Okay, I see. I, I was telling. Okay, so I was telling Evil about this. I actually got me undies. My mom got me me undies. Hey, you, undies. Those, what do you mean? So the, there's a company called Me Undies, and it's it's like <laughs> they they basically yeah it's okay. me undies. It's yeah. great date um, underwear, dude. It's, dude, I'm wearing them right now. It's shit is so comfortable. What is it like, like spandex or like no, not no spandex, it's but it's. Like Compression shorts or something? Yeah, so they're like, I think you can get them in like boxers or boxer briefs or or just, you know, little tighty whities or whatever. But so I have boxer briefs and A, they're comfy as hell. And mm. B, they're the coolest designs. I got fucking, I've got one with happy faces on it. And then there's another one, it's like, I got like two Rasta ones. Rasta. And the one I'm wearing right now, I was like, there's like some fucking Japanese ass fucking like victory <laughs> signs on them. I can't, here, look, look at that shit. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty dope. Look at that awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's kind of cool. Like I cool love design. it. They can't see it. We yeah. No, I can't it. show Twitch. No, well, because I get no. banned. I, I can't? can't? You can't show your underwear on Twitch, no. I showed mine. You did? Yeah, when we were doing the green screen, I was wearing green undies. Yeah. Oh. Just pull my pants down. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, well. As long as it's not like I'm fucking not bulge, it. you should be fine. But <laughs> butts or should be good to go. All right, well, I'm not taking the risk. <clears throat> anyway, that was... I guess that's a weird gift, but... I don't know. I love it. And I'm wearing, dude, I'm actually wearing, they got shirts too. This shit is comfy as hell. I love this yeah, stuff. They, they started making bras recently as well. Yeah, I'm so wearing one of those too. We got any ladies that want to <laughs> give them that comfort from the discomfort they get from bras. Look up some MeUndies. Yeah. MeUndies. I've, I've heard yeah, bras I've heard are. I've heard of them before. 
There, Sounds, it's yeah. It's probably cool. heard like on YouTube shit. They always advertise that crap. Step up for my fruit of the loom. That I said me Hanes. undies. Nothing wrong with Hanes. I did say me undies. Not mm. me undies. Not like the me's from Nintendo. That's what I thought you said first. Oh, and then I thought you were just <laughs> oh, a pirate. Aren't you know. Nintendo making cereal? I still. I'm looking for a box. Every time I go to the grocery store, I can't find a box. They're making cereal. They've already made it. It's already out. But it, everyone What's, keeps swooping that shit up the minute it's, it like, it's out. Mario marshmallows with like. Yes. Stupid shit. It's, it's mushrooms and shit. shit. But there's an amiibo on the box. Amiibo. So you can connect it. You know what the amiibos are? No, I don't Those little stat. So you remember the Ryu one that I have? And you put it against the Wii U and it makes like, you can like make your own custom Ryu or whatever. No. So now they have that for Mario's cereal. You just basically put part of the box up to your Switch like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty stupid. I'm not going to lie. Like, it's a cool idea, but, like, the concept of just putting a big fucking box against a tiny-ass Switch console is so stupid. I hope that cereal's good. I mean, it's it's, it's just marshmallow. It's <laughs> it's like every fucking marshmallowy cereal. It's just pure shit. Like, it's, as Dan put it, it's violently not food. It's sugar. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I used to eat Lucky Charms a lot when I lived in my old apartment. I, A, reason I probably got, I gained, like, 20 pounds. B, I, my, my, Fucking insides and bladder and all that were just horrid. Just I was shitting so much. How often were you eating them? Like at least, at least twice a day. Okay. Yeah, like not good. Like once a day is bad breakfast enough for lucky. Dinner. It was lucky Luke charms Luke also. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I did not like those marshmallows. They yeah. Were disgusting. I can't eat them now. It's just like chocolate. I used to pour it onto a kitchen towel. And pick out the marshmallows yeah, individually. You, you told us. Oh, my mouth. The kicks is something different. I love kicks. Ew. Kicks, I, I was confused about. I was like, like how much sugar cereal. am I supposed to pour in this bowl? <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> so I, I love kicks. It, normal. it had a weird, like, no. it had a weird flavor, but I loved it. denying you. No. It was good. It tasted like air and, like, corn syrup or some shit. <laughs> no, it, it, it was just, like, corn like dirty syrup. Dirty air. No, it just tasted like. Someone went to a field, dug up some wheat, and put it in a bowl shape. <laughs> oh. I put it in my bowl of milk. But the bulge in a great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See, look, yeah. Hey, man, I got it all. I got, I got the whole package. Now, ah. if only, now if only I, <laughs> oh, I just got that. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh, shit. I was, I was gonna make a joke. Now, if only I wasn't ugly in the face. Can uh, no one says about... anything? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Eli? My new favorite artist. Who? Sure, Cardi B. Oh, please, God. Do we have the clip of her speaking like a toucan? Uh, yeah. But she's a, she literally went on Jimmy Kimmel and just went... Do you guys need to hear about her... Thing. Yeah, I know. It's so funny. The sex tape thing? She has uh, a sex tape now? Oh, on like, Instagram? Yeah, yeah, the one of the dudes from Migos. That so. was another thing on this post of Google+. Plus. I was yeah. like, what is this? How is this woman a living train wreck? She came from the... <laughs> Damn. So, <laughs> like, how, how do you go on a fucking interview and then go, go and then have a sex tape on Instagram? It's the only word I could think of is damn. <laughs> like, like, I was just like. It's a legend. It's a legend. No. Show the, it's Quavo the... came up behind her. She was Instagramming live and started like humping her. So people think she was having sex, but I think he was just humping her. Oh, clothes on. Oh, that's overblown then. Yeah. I thought it was actually a sex tape put on Instagram. I'm like, dude, how like, like, damn. But if you want to see her twerk with her, her, like there's her tits hanging out, that's online also. Yeah. Yeah, well, fucking, that's, I'm she's not surprised. Just fucking, what do you what do you like about her, Eloy? I don't know. What what, like what, what what makes you so turned on when you I, see her? I don't know. What makes your hair is on the back of your neck stand I up? When you see her? I think just because she's an independent woman, mm-hmm. came from the bottom, now she's here. Where's she from? Even is she from Cali? Bronx or some shit. Bronx, okay. And uh, she, uh, I just. Like, her music doesn't, like, I just like it. It's just ignorant stuff I like. That's all it is. Yeah. And they come and bother me. Won't you come there for my foster's free? Honestly. <laughs> my foster you free. Won't you follow me? Won't you follow me? All my does. foster's free. Cardi B. Oh, that's it's why like, I can't stand it. It's like it. everything about rap I hate right yeah, now. Yeah, it is a nutshell, but she's just a female version of it, and it's kind of funny. Yeah, I have a, I I think equal, I like equality that, like, for all. I think I like that like, New York um, accent. And a rapper. I don't know. I just really like it. Like, Lil' Kim's a little bit too much, but Cardi yeah. B's like a 
A better version. Lil' Kim scares the shit out of me. Why is Lil' Kim scare you? She's fucking scary. She, she is now. Like she didn't four, used to be. She's like 4'2 and like angry as shit yeah. at the same time. Have you, have you seen the way that South Park makes Lil' Kim look? That's exactly how she is. <laughs> yeah. Besides like her being a foot tall. She's like she's like a rabid <laughs> pet dog with big ass titties. So wrap you out of your shoes. Here, I'll put up. I'll put up but Eloy, if you've not seen the picture, I'll put up a picture of, of Lil' Kim from South Park. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's it. it, it <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? He literally made her like just like a, just the smallest human being, like a toy. And then they kind of did that. Paris Hilton was kind of fucked up. She was always coughing up semen for some reason yeah. in South Park. And blood sometimes. That was horrible. Yeah. That's it, gross. They made her to be the biggest whore that's so gross. ever. Oh my god! Like, yeah. <clears throat> and just wipe it on something it's like a gross. seat. Oh god! And she shoved a pineapple up her cooter in the South Park episode, and then Mr. Slave shoved Miss Paris Hilton up his ass. What the fuck? <laughs> he had to out whore her. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was like a it was a whore off. <laughs> it's a whore off. <laughs> I love South Park. <laughs> <laughs> it was some of the weirdest shit ever. She was tiny. Yeah. Anyway, wait, so what? So what else scares you? So do you like Lil Kim's music at least? Or I never. Like, I don't really fucking know any of her music. I've only heard songs like that she's done with Biggie. So like a Biggie song Something. featuring Lil Kim. Yeah, stuff like that. That's why she was so prominent in my mind. When I was like eight, nine years old. Just an angry woman rapping yeah. about shit and talking about her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it was. That was kind of new. Could back our next then, president. Though. Yeah, it was. Like her next, pre- <laughs> my pussy is huge. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah. It's the yeah. biggest pussy you've ever seen. Yeah, Hillary Clinton talking about why her puss is so nice and stuff like that, trying to get into the office. And Bill Clinton's like, oh, 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 oh it's a pretty oh, good no. pussy. Oh, it's a nice looking us. <laughs> it's a us. <laughs> so I had a weird yeah. dream. I had a very weird dream. Oh, I tweeted out a little bit of it. What was it? Um, yeah, last night. It was fucking weird. I don't even know how to explain it. I've been having interesting dreams for the last like couple months. This one just takes the cake. We were all, I, I believe we were all in Vegas. Us, us three, a couple of the Smash people as well. Anyone that's interacted with us in chat. And ugh, I hate, ugh, ugh I'm going to puke. I've taken a uh, liking to a, a certain girl. Oh, and, I saw um, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, I don't know. I think I went missing for a little while. But like she, she loved playing melee. And she played like, melee fox. She's pretty good. She and wave like, shined into his heart. So whenever she would like, <laughs> I would hear a shine. I'm like, oh, there she is. Like I know she's in the next room. <laughs> I swear to God, that's what happened. I hear a shine, and I'm like, okay, that's so and so. I don't. She, oh, she's here now. Yes. I don't think I even know her name. But I was all sudden like, I was found. Got back to the hotel. I was saying here, clink, 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 in the room. I'm like, oh. Like, oh, there you are, blah, blah, blah. She walks out, like, her hair wrapped up in a towel. She's in a towel and shit like that. Damn. But, like, the process of the dream is, like, I guess a tournament taking place. And all of us just, like, hanging out, whatever, and like, me hanging out with this girl. But the most prominent thing was definitely the whole shine thing. Like, how her shine was differential from anyone else's I was playing Smash. It was, it was so weird. That's really funny. Really it was bizarre. really weird. What a, what a like, combination of shit. Yeah. It gets like, bizarre. Smash, Vegas, us, Twitch chat, and a girl you fell in love with cause, well, not because she was a good Melee Fox, but she Ugh. was just part of it. Fucking. That's so weird. Maybe like, he's calling you like that you, need to, you love Melee. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, it means God. you secretly love Melee and you want to play it. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd rather try to teabag a piranha. <laughs> 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 I feel like dreams are like that though. It's like the most obscure thing that yeah. they, they can come up with. That's just going on in your life. It just like pulls like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, so I, I had a dream. Have. Sorry, I had a dream oh, no, that it was so fucking weird. It won't get good till the end. Mm-hmm. Okay, so me and my girlfriend were on this couples retreat in uh-huh. Africa in like some jungle shit, and we were staying in these huts. And the people who were in my huts were most of my coworkers. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Yeah, it was really weird. While you're so, on a couples retreat. Huh? Well, you're on a couples retreat? Yeah. So they so had like their couples and couples. shit? Well, like, there's this one gay guy, and then, like, it was just other people and, like, other shit, too, uh, that were couples. I don't know. It was really weird. But, like, it was, like, a couple retreat for us, but, like, but I don't think they... they just happened they, to show up? Yeah, they were just there kind okay. of thing. Yeah, yeah. Just know, dream dreams. shit? Yeah. Just dream logic. Dreams! <clears throat> so, Weaver. this woman comes by and tells, oh, you guys are in a couples retreat. Uh, blah, 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 this and this. She ends up voting, and then we're, like, the best couple out of the whole couple nice. Retreat. So 
That goes great. Great. So <laughs> it's time to go home, apparently. And we're walking on this long path, like through the jungle, to get to our boat. <laughs> our boat home. <laughs> we're gonna have like a twenty-hour trip back. <laughs> really uh, weird. So, um, my girlfriend's starting to feel sick. She's mm-hmm. like starting to like lag and like stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, let me go find some cure and like fend off whatever's in our path and like all this stuff. Uh-huh. So you do some juju. Yeah, it's like <laughs> weird. Um, so we go. I go through, and there's this cheetah and this big bird. Like, okay, you know what a kiwi looks like? Yeah. Okay, so that, like, eight foot. Like, maybe maybe, <laughs> Just maybe like, six foot. Yeah. So it has this, like, giant beak <laughs> that, like, uh-huh. that can kill me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> this is where it gets weird. So <laughs> This is pretty weird. I'm about to fight this giant kiwi. <laughs> and this, Just punch it. <laughs> this cheetah. And someone throws me a rat. Okay. A rat? <laughs> Who? This one. <laughs> yeah, to like so I can kill these these che- this cheetah and the giant kiwi. Mm-hmm. So I squeeze the rat, and you know how a rat has like the two front teeth. That's like my Wait. knife, like my pickaxe, <laughs> like to kill. This is awesome. To kill. My, my, this is, this <laughs> sounds like a like a really weird action movie right now. So He's naturally, in- I go for the cheetah first. Uh huh. Cause it just like jumps and lunges at me, yeah. And I like I kill it with my rat. So it's dangerous with the eight foot kiwi. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for that. It's just waiting to fuck me up. So like it's in the back. Like, it's, it's, yeah, go cheetah, I fuck that. Like, so get him. Of the fucking wild animals. So the cheetah comes in. I like stab it in the neck with my freaking rat. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Can you imagine saying that sentence in a day? Yeah, I right? stab this cheetah so in the neck with a rat. rat. So I do that, and then, like, it's just me and, like, the fucking, the cheetah dies, obviously. And then, so it's me and the kiwi, and I'm scared shitless because I just see its big, giant beak, like, gonna try to kill me. I'm like, oh, shit, it's gonna just impale my body Uh type of shit. So I end up just, like, hacking him to death with my rat. And then we get home. (laughs) That was it. Dude, that rat... (laughs) This is the fucking weirdest fucking. <laughs> this is the weirdest dream. Why is a giant that's kiwi? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, honestly, that's it. There's like you more killed an animal with middle. another fucking animal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is yeah, wrong like, with you? Like how we hacked and sl- like the first one was just like one stab in the neck, and then the kiwi was just like, Mrah! like it was just like like razor fangs. It was at that point where I was like, if I don't want to grab the wolf by the tail type of thing, so I'm just uh-huh. gonna hack it away. So. It just- <laughs> So when you woke up, back. what were you thinking? I was like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. I told my girlfriend the dream. She just laughing her ass off. <laughs> it's pretty weird. It's, it's always <laughs> funny to me that people like have dream books and where like that stuff is supposed to mean things. Yeah. And I don't think it means shit. Cause like, so I look, so the dreams that I've been having at least a lot lately are ones where my teeth fall out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's like, and I've the thing is I, I looked up, so I looked up like what it could mean. Yeah. And it was like, it was like. 12 things <laughs> it was just like it was like oh it could be you could be like uh worried about your future you could uh you know be worried about your your financial situation you could be like having sexual repression was one of them and i was like what the fuck is this shit um but uh the weirdest dream that i had recently was i tweeted it out too you know who steven Ogg is no so he's an actor he's played he plays trevor in grand theft auto 5 Okay. So uh, that guy, I had a dream that he kidnapped me and Nate. And we were just, but the thing is, like, we were kidnapped, but we were just sort of, like, hanging out. It was weird. But, like, we couldn't leave. So he would just, like, tell us when to eat and go to the bathroom. But then he would, like, once in a while, I swear to God, this shit is weird. He once in a while would, like, read something that he wrote to us. <laughs> but it was not something he wrote, like, for us. It was just, like... Like here's like a like a haiku that I made, mm. and then we would just be like, "Oh, that's pretty good." And then we just like, <laughs> like it was depressing. like we, we were like in a trailer. Sounds like a depressing version of Split, that movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, am I kidnapped or yeah. is it, they <laughs> also like me? Here, like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, it was something like, and it was. Well, the thing is, is like I think what made it scary is that it was Stephen Ogg because he's just. A psycho looking dude. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got like the big crazy eyes and he's like, hey, yeah. ah, like he's just got kind of voice. So it was. But just... he also wanted your approval. Yeah. That was like, the... <laughs> it was like he wanted to kidnap friends. Like that was, it was the weirdest dream. And it was vivid and it was a dream that went on far too long. Like it felt like a movie. Like, like when I woke up, I was like, that was like a full 30 minutes 
of a dream that I remember. It was it was just that's like the short version of it because a bunch of shit happened and eventually yeah. we ran away. But he just like didn't stop us. It was just kind of one of those like it was almost like at the end of Toki's garage sale video. It was just like. Oh well, where am I, what well, am I gonna do now? I just want to read my poems. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds like a really like literature version of Fifty Shades of Grey. Like you can leave, but do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you want to? Neil, no. well, come to me. <laughs> oh come to me. God. Come to me. Oh, it's so weird. You've had the oh, you've had the teeth ones also. The latest one I had yeah. was but all but my molars fell out. What the fuck? Oh. That's so weird. Yeah, I've had ones where like the teeth will fall out, and then I've had the ones where they rot out. Oh my god! And like, and I've like pulled them out. Yeah, I've had a bunch of different ones of like like teeth falling out in just like a multitude of ways. Now, how do when I bite bit into something, my teeth was just like I have no teeth. Like, oh, what the fuck! Just, like, <laughs> breaks it like breaks, and then I'm like, where are my teeth? And I freak <laughs> out and I wake up. I still have teeth, and then like I remember once, I was like. It feels like it's loose. Yeah, I did the same. What's, what's happening? Like what's happening? Yeah, that's that was that's some of the ones I've had too, where I had like normal teeth, and then I just like decided to pull them, and then they're yeah, like, just, oh, they're oh, just coming out oh, now. Oh no! You know what dreams I hate? I have to drive a car, but I cannot get to the driver's seat. I've never had anything like that. Oh, that's, evil. That, that freaks me out. That that's, would that would actually just creepy. frustrate me. The most visceral dream I ever had was I forgot what situation it was, but like someone. <laughs> disagree with the person try to get out of the room I forgot I think this person was my relative or something like that and started like just like slicing my arm whoa and like like cutting into it mm-hmm. that was like one of the most recent ones I had I was kind of weird like that what the then fuck? the other weird ones of, I told someone before I like literally just took my own eye out yeah that like one that. you told us what the hell yeah other than that the arm one felt really real that was the weirdest one I've ever had like yeah. in a long time I'm, I'm just like slicing into my arm. Jesus did Christ! You, like, did you like? I didn't wake up even when that part happened. I still no. kept dreaming. Yeah. Usually, when I have terrible dreams like that, like I remember one, I was just in a roller coaster, and mm. then there was no more roller coaster, so I just fell to my death. Oh shit! <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Roller coaster tycoon shit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, "Fuck, there's no more. Guess I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just out of here." And then I woke up. Oh, that's horrifying. Hi, Terrence. We're talking about dreams. What's happening? Uh, another one of my teeth dreams is my bottom front were crowding and wedged one out. Oh, my Damn. God. Damn. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, I've never had... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, tried bur- I tried to burp. I never had teeth dreams. They're freaky, dude. They're like... Especially when they're... Because vi- the thing with... And you know, probably know this, too. The thing of sometimes when you smoke weed mm. is like I was just not dreaming. Mm-hmm. And so now... and But they say usually after you stop, you have... Very, very vivid, almost uh-huh. fucked up dreams. So that's all I've been having lately <laughs> are just like super, almost lucid dreaming like dreams. Mm, and like about 40% of them have been my teeth falling out. Damn. Damn. I, I, it's weird. Like huh. it's almost every other dream, to be honest. So I don't know if it's true. The most, I know there's like a different explanation about like teeth falling out stuff. The one that made sense to me uh-huh. at the time when I was having that was that it's like, you like because the teeth, your teeth is like the strongest part of your your body, I guess. Like if you bite down something, yeah, you like yeah. tons of pressure or something like that. So once you you lose your teeth, it's like you're losing like strength or something. Oh, that's fucked up. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Here, let's look up. Hold on. Interesting. Yeah, let's oh look, god. Let's look up some dream meanings right now. It's gonna teeth. freak me out. This one, but this, I looked this up. Dream weaver. Yeah, a dream meaning. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll be you, you'll be me We'll be <laughs> one, we'll be just one Yeah Whoa. Okay, yeah, so it says The common dream interpretation for teeth falling out It seems the symbol as a representation of the fear Of aging or becoming less efficient Or productive In other words, you would point to the loss of your means And fully bite into life to break down what life brings you Yeah, that's oh, kind of a ver- fuck. That's some fucked up shit Oh, fuck no Let's see, let's see what the rest of this one says yeah, okay, so here's, so look, look at this, look at this, there's like five negative and five positive, which is like, okay, how am I supposed to figure out which one it is? <laughs> You're going to weigh your teeth streams? <laughs> yeah, yeah look, 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 figure it out, so yeah, look, insecurity, especially about a personal loss, yeah, anxiety about sexual experience, a compromise that is costly to you, life changes and growing pains, fear of becoming older, or signs of personal expansion, wish or need to nurture yourself more carefully, an invitation to explore feelings of loss and personal growth. A call to look at your support system, or the Jungian interpretation, times of renewal and rebirth. Oh, shit. Carl Jung. Yeah, Carl know. Jung. Carl Jung. Is that really who that is? Yeah. Oh. He's, one of, he's like, 
uh, um, come on. So, uh, starts with an F. Famous. The. <laughs> Oh my god, that's terrible! I'm forgetting. Barrett? Name. No, a psychologist. <laughs> it starts with an F. Uh, Fuse. Freed? Friedman? Freed. No. Oh no! Freud? Freud? Freud. Uh, there you go. Sorry. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, operating the can- the the computer right now. He was like the uh, he was like the opposite of Freud, pretty much. He went from a he went he uh, Carl Jung studied studied like consciousness and stuff. Here, we'll look it up. Yeah. I had a judging. I had a judging consciousness, look. Consciousness, <laughs> consciousness, and subconsciousness. A psychoanalyst. Yeah. And a psychiatrist. Yeah. Oh, this guy looks fucking scary. Look at this dude. Yeah. He's I don't like, like the way this guy looks. He's scary looking. <laughs> famous, famous guy. I studied him in art school. Oh, I'd have a judging stare. I had carrots, celery, and some buffalo wild wings yesterday. So I'm all about that. Healthy go- slash unhealthy meal. You ever go to a place and like eat there and wish you had never eaten there? What place is that for you? Augie's. What the hell is Augie's? Oh, yeah. It's that pizza place. It's right in Canyon Country or used yeah, to be. Yeah, I went there. I think it's Buffalo Wild Wings. It's where Buffalo Wild Wings is now in Canyon Country. And I think it used to be called Augie's Pizza, right? What the hell is I don't know. It's like an Italian res- restaurant sports bar type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I remember seeing it when I was you young. You an Italian with a sports bar? Yeah. No, hell no. No, 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 no. That damn no. Italian food. No. We, we ordered pizza, and like uh-huh. it was just a lot of... It took like an hour. Oh, I think they were just the trying to get me drunk so I can buy more, but we were waiting for a movie. Oh, gross. Which I have to talk about in a sec. Mm-hmm. Um, and we ate the pizza. I was super full. It was kind of like... It was like... It was, that, it was that type of pizza where like the crust... Feels like it's not cooked all the way, but then once you get towards the bottom, it's like crispy. Yeah, it's like a. So it's like, why is it wet? It's like a DiGiorno pizza oh. that's almost there. It's like yeah, 70% yeah. Done, yeah, that's a good, exactly what that's a good description. Yeah. That's scary at a restaurant. It was yeah. yeah. So like, I'm like hoping that. like you're, I don't get sick. You're afraid. Yeah, you're afraid you can go home and puke that day. Mm-hmm. I had the shits the next day. Oh, that's the worst. So, no. I mean, I'm I'm fine now, but you know, pizza can definitely. Peak a man's interest or just not? <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> so need to cover those talent birds. I, I used to have talents. These were normal feet. When I was still playing basketball, my feet were fucked. My toes were oh. fucked up. Like now they're, the, they fucking oh. got back to normal. Well, like the calluses and shit? Not even calluses, just fucking toenails and shit. Oh, gross. I think I still sprained my big toe when I play basketball. Need a pedicure. Ooh. I need a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> like like the M M&M. and M. Oh, I have a horrid fear of eye gore. Uh, dude, I just don't like gore. I just dude, anything like like cutting somebody open or like oh that shit grosses me out, dude. Mm. Reminds me of that scene from uh, Kill Bill when she steps, she like pops out her eye, eye. and then, like steps. Oh on yeah, it, and reminds then, like, me squishes of... out. Oh, reminds me of the video I just put up of uh, we saw a nail go into an eyeball. Oh, that was fun. Did. Oh yeah, I watched that fucking fifty <laughs> fifty. That Yay. little girl on the train, woman, little train. Yeah, I think it was like a woman. I don't remember. Yeah, did re- she really get hit by the train? Yeah, yeah. she really got hit. I we thought she like... was standing in the middle of the tracks. Uh, then I realized I didn't edit it right. So I tried to put the camera just right there. Or it was, and she, her body was still being like dragged along. Yeah, so I, like, I saw take, some kind of like I had to take cloth. it down and fucking try to. <laughs> Censor it better. Oh fuck no! Yeah, censored it pretty well, but I remember that was like the one that like just shocked both of us. We were like talking mm, through, through a few other ones, and that like, one was just like, <laughs> "Oh my god, what do we like, just watch?" How the fuck did she get that in that point of her life? It's just I don't know. That's gun? that's a good question. Like, a gun in her head? like why do you want to go out? Because like, so when I took a psychology class, they always said like. When it comes to suicide, like, usually men go about it the violent way. Like, they hang themselves. They shoot themselves. And then women are usually the ones that, like, overdose on a drug. Yeah. Where it's, like, it's, like, a much more kind of subtle-ish way to go out. That is, like, extreme. That's, like, action movie. That's you died. Thinking, like, she must have had a gun in her head. And I'm just, like, creating Maybe. a backstory for her. And I'm a, not. I'm, I'm just disturbed by the whole website that is live leak in general. Yeah, like, right? How are when people getting this footage? About, when did you first hear about? Oh Lime my! Oh my I heard sister! About Lime, yeah, I forgot. I don't even know why I know about it. Definitely probably because ASU. I had to guess. Yeah. And I just, think it was high school for me when I first yeah, heard about it. It was like, Reddit. Two thousand nine, two thousand eight ish. It was that time where like all of us were looking at like not safe for life shit. Most fucked up. Shit. It was horrible. All of us. 
Yeah, yeah you oh, too. No, mostly you Toki. And Taylor. Mostly you, Toki. You and Taylor. <laughs> All that Fuck that shit. shit. Yeah, I know. Oh I was my like, no, God. I remember waking up. It was up horrible. Morning, drinking at a party and saying, like, hey, look at this. And you're like, why? <laughs> what is going on? It was the worst. I, I don't never, know why. I will oh, never forget the image of me. Oh, God. I woke up from you know sleeping, and Mason comes in with some guy getting his head chopped off. He like, just shows me. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. Good morning. Hey, showed that. Oh, yeah. this... Guys getting his head chopped off. Yeah, people fucking dying. R slash people fucking dying. I think, it, go I think it came from like uh. just the place of like I can't believe this actually exists. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's like where like Video this slight things. interest came from. You're like I can't even believe this is actually on the web. Show the Hell no. That shit is horrible. This shit is, that looks kind of fake sometimes though. Yeah. It looks like like clay penises just getting chopped off. <laughs> one guy, one jar was not fake. I will say that. Ugh. Or remember two girls, one finger? That was... See, now that, Toki, that was you and I watching that. We watched, like, all those horrible-ass shock videos in, like, middle school and, like, early high school days. No, no, no it was early high school no, days. High school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I don't think you can even fathom anything like that. Shit was horrible. Uh, the, most, the most shocking thing to me I think I ever saw in junior high was a moving background on MySpace. That was the most shocking thing I ever saw. <laughs> how did they do it? Like, how the hell is this happening? They're words being across the street. They have music playing on their fucking page. Yeah. Sons of bitches. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Mother, motherfucker. No, Terrence. I mean, two girls, one finger. That's a different one. It's two Japanese girls eating, like, the biggest, hardest, crustiest piece of shit you'll ever look at. It's horrible. It's not like the ice cream diarrhea shit that two girls, one cup was. It's like a hard... Like, it looks like a cliff bar coming out her asshole, and then they just eat it. What about four girl finger paint? Oh, God. The fuck is all this? This is all, they're all like shock videos with like just poop and puke. Lots of puke. That freaking rage comic with the scary Korean comic? Wait, like, what? Like, you see how it's blocked off Eloy down there? I want girl be like that, going like that, going like that. And for some reason, he just puked on the fucking yeah. girl. Uh, <laughs> like shit that. was horrible. You can't see what's happening again. Horrible. <laughs> What's your imagination? Hey, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> just hor- I, I want to say the first time that I heard about Live Leak was like probably one of those, or like also like t- yeah, Tyler and Mason like walked in and showed me that. It might even my sister got in on it and was like, "Hey, look, here's this fucking video of a dude getting killed by a guy who was on a bike." And then, yeah. he, then they, like, smash yeah. his, his head in with a hammer. It's like, what the fuck is wrong, dude? I was about to say, you guys are talking about burgers and shit, and we're totally ruining it. What in hell? <laughs> I think all that stuff, I feel like, got so much attention. Because you know, the most shocking thing you saw at that time, uh, between 2005 and, like, 2008, was probably, it's not funny, but the, the video of the guy getting his head chopped off by terrorists. Easily, by that point. Yeah. Easily. And all of a sudden, just jumped up a bunch by some dude that wants to tie his little cock and balls up into that thing. All of a sudden, just go like that. And then some two girls, one cup. That shit, god damn, if that was on YouTube, easily a billion views in the first week. Absolutely. Easily. That just shows you how fucked up people are, (laughs) including some of us, obviously. But, like, I feel like a lot of those videos started when, like, um, ISIS was coming out, like, Al Qaeda and, like, all that stuff they were like showing videos, so like people were just like looking for that type of shit because like it was just in the world. Yeah, just in the world. Th- that's what that's, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that's where the interest came from—the fact that it existed at all. Yeah, I'm glad this is how my starting my weekend. I'm mean, I'm glad it is too cringe. Hey, They're cringe. telling me not to look up this comic. I think I'm gonna do it. Hey, cringe. I got another way you can start your weekend. You looking? You looking? Is it this one? Are you looking? Are you looking? I love this little thing. It's like a sensor bar. You looking? I got a nice way for you to start your weekend. I got a nice way for you to start your weekend. Oh, baby. Oh, how about, oh yeah. Oh, look oh, at oh, the, oh, look, oh, look at that ass. Oh, that. How about look? That. Oh, <laughs> you can't see it. But <laughs> 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 is this, wait, is this the oh, comic? God. Is this the comic? I don't know. What is this? Okay. It starts off with a street sign. You got the right one. I'm just trying to get some water, man. <laughs> Is this it? Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll make it a little bigger. 
for for you guys to see. I'll read it out loud. Too. Wait, what is this about? Hold on. Apparently, I don't know. Apparently, it's scary. Uh, luckily, I'm not late for the last train. There are not many people in the station. I guess it's because the time is almost up for the last train. Is this the one? That one's not. That one's not bad. Okay, hold on. All right, fuck that. Hold on. We're finding the bad one. Maybe it's this one. Is it this one? Bon Bon Ching Dong Ghost. What? Is this the one? What did you just say? I don't know. You said it wrong. Uh, oh, you're saying the name of the anime protagonist. Bon Ching Dong. Bon Ching Dong. Is this it? <laughs> How do you know they hang? <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Oh, this is it. Okay. The Badonkadonk okay, okay. right, right, right. ghost. The Badonkadonk ghost, dude. All right. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night, study sessions at school. There's no one on the street, which I thought was strange. Can you guys read it up, up there properly? Huh? Yeah. Can you? Can you? You can see it. No, kind okay. of. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'll make it. Hold on. But I'll make it. I'll make it bigger for for all the lovely folks at home. There we go. Okay, is that better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, I'll even I'll fluff it up a little bit. Oh, that didn't work. Why did that not work? Okay, well then. Okay. That's all right, let's go. All right. Here, as you see, but there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. Did you see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big? Anyways, feeling scared, I looked, keep, keep looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching toward me caught my eyes, although there, was no, there wasn't anyone around me. I, I don't know. I looked up to see who there was. Oh, that's fucked up. I saw a woman walking in front of me. She looked a little strange. You could say that she looked crippled. Yeah, look at her. Look at her stanky leg, dude. Oh shit. Say she looked. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Then she was walking very slowly. Soon caught up with her. Close able to see her even better. Oh fuck this. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas. Look, those are all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her. Ah! <gasps> fuck. I uh, scared the shit out of me. All right, damn. well, that's just a jump scare. God damn it. Damn. Fuck. That scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, yeah. fucking Christ. All right, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I was like about to be scared till Colin screamed. Then yeah. it felt better. <laughs> it, was, it, was, I, I, it was consoling. I'm, I'm glad my fear put you at ease. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Holy so what's... So, okay, here's a question. What is... What is the scariest real my life moment that you've had in your life? If you can recall. Like something just bizarre. Off the top of my head, yeah. that's kind of difficult. That's difficult. I probably like, oh, we can go on to another question. I'll probably push that to the back of my head. Uh, uh, probably. Yeah. Mm. I can't remember. One I think the reaction when I fell off my bike and my friend, I, I saw my friends and they looked like I should be dead. Like they didn't even recognize me. It was kind of weird. Really? Yeah. They just ran away because I scraped my face. I think I told the story before. Yeah. 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 I scraped my face so bad. They just looked at me in horror. Oh, and I like, fuck. Yeah. I think that's about it. I was like, oh, shit. What do I look like? What do I look like? <laughs> the, the only time I had a weird thing was sort of, and I, and I could be, I, I, I might be one of those things where I remembered it in a, in a different light now than it maybe should have happened, than it did actually happen, but I definitely, we had an old rocking chair that my, my great grandmother used to sit in all the time. And, uh, when we first got dogs and we got Max and Kobe, um, they would just, you know, they barked at pretty much most things, but we, I was watching TV and it was literally like my mom was working in the, in the computer room, which was like pretty far off. And then Michael wasn't even home. And I remember that the chair, like I pretty much got up to like tell the dogs to be quiet. And then I looked in the rocking. I was not in the rocking chair, sitting on the couch. And the rocking chair was sort of going out a little bit on its own, and they were barking directly at the chair. And there was that whole thing where like dogs, you know, see spirits and all that. So when yeah. I was a kid, it scared the living shit out of me. Yeah. My sister has some fucked up ghost stories, like straight up ones. Like she said, like she saw somebody at the top of her stairs in her old apartment. Her CDs like literally flew off her dresser. And I, when I said flew off, I asked her, I was like, "Do you mean just like fell off?" And she was like, "No, like went across the room." What the fuck? Yeah, I was like, "I don't look. I don't know if it's true or not, but Jesus Christ, dude." I don't. I don't think I've had any <laughs> negative experiences with ghosts. It's always been weird. It's always been calming. Really? Yeah, that's interesting. I thought I heard uh, stuff. Yeah. I thought I st heard stuff here. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, when Colin was out of town. Yeah, it's fucking. What weird, happened, dude. Eloy? I just heard like, oh yeah, creaking and knocking and then like shit like that, and it was really eerie. I didn't like it. What time of the night? Like late at night. Like I'd be playing with Overwatch, mm-hmm. and like I'd be hearing weird shit while I'm like going to bed. And I'm just like, oh no. I had a funny one though that scared the fuck out of me. You guys would probably laugh. What? Um. So I lived. I was when I first moved to North Hollywood. <clears throat> So I, I first moved to North Hollywood, and uh, we moved to this like, apartment complex, and I'd never like come into contact with a dog before. Mm-hmm. So I was walking to get the mail, and on my way back, this little white dog was like on a leash, and it was just like barking at me, and I freaked out. And I started to run away, and this little white dog was just chasing me, oh, and I like, that. ran around a tree, and like it wouldn't <laughs> leave me alone until its <laughs> owner like came and like grabbed the dog. And it was like this little like chihuahua or something. I'm sure they're fucking, fucking chihuahuas are aggressive as shit. It scared the shit out of me. I was like maybe eight or something, but like it was definitely I was scared shitless. Uh, not now anymore, yeah. obviously, but like it was really funny. I, I had a bad fear of dogs. Kind of the same thing. Shrink the browser, please. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. Um, the uh, I, I I definitely had like a bad thing with. Hold on, I was reading. Oh yeah, dude, that would scare. Yeah, if you had a fear of eyes, that would scare the shit out of a me. A fear too. of eyes. Oh, yeah, shit. that fucking old that last comic you read. Yeah, you write fanfic of Jar Jar. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah Toki disappeared. He's part of the. He's he he uh, turned into uh, Boca Boca Don Boca Bo or whatever that shit was. Um, I, I had I actually went over. I I was being wa- like so I my my parents. Had to, I want to say they like had to leave or something, or they just like came over and like I think Michael had a friend. And his name was like Scott or something. And he lived like right near us at our old house, mm-hmm. and it's like him and his wife, and then they, they had like two kids, and the two kids were just little shits. Mm-hmm. These kids sucked, um, straight up, dude. They were just mean. Like they were like the type of kids where like every time you'd sit down, they like try to pull the chair out from you, and then they would like call you names and like pull your hair and shit. They were mean kids. Yes. Anyway. Um, they also had a dog who, not surprisingly, around mean kids is a mean fucking dog. Yeah. So it was like, it was just like a little black dog too, but I was like, you know, like four, five or, or probably, it was probably like six since it was like Michael was there. Mm-hmm. And the dog, uh, jumped up on me and tackled me and was like barking at my face while like on the ground and it scared it. And I was no. terrified of dogs for the longest time. Oh, yeah. God. Well, I guess it wasn't that long. Cause then like two years later I got Max. But it was yeah. long enough. Yeah. Yeah, long enough for me to, like, and also two years is like an eternity when you're a kid. Yeah. I have, I have had scary moments. One major one was when I was 16. What happened, Cringe? Um, what happened? What happened? What happened? The what happened? Um, yeah, I, 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 fear's a weird thing in general, like, now that you're older. Fear, fear's an odd thing. Well, because it's now, like, it's totally in the mind. It's not one of those nice. I still can't, I don't want to do that shit. Hold on, how do you do it? It's really easy. I know, but I always forget. <laughs> it looks so weird. So, put your hands together. Uh-huh. And just do this. Are you serious? And yeah. then twit? But see, that's where I get the... <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. So okay, yeah? You gotta twist it. How? Oh. You gotta just... You gotta... You gotta... Well, see, then I fuck it up. No, you gotta like... Like a clock or something. Like, turn your... Hands opposite directions. That's what I'm. D- like yeah, like direction. that. Just one, just one, just two fingers. Yeah, I know. But you gotta hold the other ones together and just do this. See, I can't. No. It just twists my shit up. No, you just gotta like. I don't just, get you know, it. It just interlocks. I don't. I don't get it. I don't. I will think I'll never do it. You know, some people can't. You know, whistle. I think this is your thing. <laughs> You, you can do that. You can't do the wiggly I, fingers. That's, that's not true. I taught myself how to whistle. Okay. Well, some people can't whistle. You can whistle, <laughs> but you can't do this. <laughs> well, I got something you can't do. What? Oh, what? <laughs> I've never shown you guys that. Oh, here. I'll show. Hold on. I'll show the chat. Can you guys do this weird shit with your tongue? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Can you guys do this weird shit with your tongue? Watch this. Yeah. I used to be able to do that whistle thing with my hands. It was a lot of fun. What, the, oh, like you could take two fingers and whistle? Yeah. I can't do that. 
Yeah, I don't know how to do it. At this point, I'm just hyperventilating. I don't fucking get it. All right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna go. Wh- how long we got on this fucking podcast? Oh, we got four minutes. Okay, so we got we can maybe we can do some maybe some ask Reddit real quick. See what see what see what's going on with that. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Hmm. Oi. Let's see. No, are you surprised? Uh, blah blah blah. Oh, there we go. Hey, look. A ghost creepy paranormal story. Um. Ooh, creepy. It is scary. Scary, spooky, it's scary spooky. skeleton. They climbing up your spine. All okay. right. Um. Oh, come on. What? These are these are these are not good questions today. If you hold on. The top, the top, the past, past mud. Okay. What's the best scary now? How are you doing? What the fuck? What a question. Um, what do you proudly do wrong? That's an interesting question. P standing up. How do you do that wrong? What do you I, you I like pee, make a parabola or something? I pee backwards <laughs> and it hits my fucking. Ass. <laughs> I don't know. He's just like bend it. Just fucking. Nah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> and I just like laugh about it. No. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not sure what I proudly do wrong. <clears throat> There's probably something that you do wrong. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure it is. I just can't think of one right now. Yeah, me neither. Proudly do wrong. Let's see. Oh, that's. You know what? Okay. Here, that's. That's that's actually a good question. Men have read it. What creepy things have women done to you? Have you ever had a woman be creepy to you? What do you probably do? That's sad, evil. Don't say things like that. <laughs> Wait, but you're proud of it? I'm confused now. <laughs> I used to be able to whistle. I can't do the two-leaf clover, but I can flip it when I do both ways. Like, okay. cup your hands like you're holding a bug and then blow into it. Wait. Okay. Can't do it. I can't fucking do it. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> um, I, I mean, honestly, it was like, oh no, I have a good. Oh, I know, I know, I have a good answer for this. Um, it was actually a friend of ours who I'm not gonna say on the stream. It starts with a, uh, her, her, uh, her, her name rhymes with Clarice. Yeah. So on my birthday, this girl gave me, she made me like a birthday card. And normally that's like really nice. But in this case, it was creepy because she had taken pictures of me and her on Facebook and then like cut them out into like a weird like mini pop-up book. Oh, It was, yeah, yeah remember that? <laughs> and I threw that shit because I was like, it's fucking creepy. No, no, you didn't just throw it away. I threw it. You fucking burned it, didn't you? No, I no, I chucked I it at the tree. It, I thought you put it. No, in the I remember that. I chucked it. I was out oh. my front door because you left it on my front door. Damn, dude, you're popular as hell over here. That's um, cool. yeah, I just chucked it. No, I was like, fuck that, and I just left it in the bushes. I, you should. Ne- oh God, that's just that's creepy. Yeah, that's it's like just stalkerish, lurkerish, like. Who left this out? It's starting with a scary movie. Well, so if you if you like drew it, or it was like one picture that we took together one time, that's fine. But it was like a collage. It was just like it was like <laughs> it was like here's like here's the border where there's you, and then there's another one of me, and then there's you and me together, and it was like what the what fuck kind of world? Well, it's like me and her have always had like one of the reasons I don't think that we're friends anymore is that I don't feel like we ever really had a friendship. <laughs> it always felt like we did, but it felt like it always felt like she wanted to, like she wanted like wear your skin, <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Well, she like she always said basically like from when she was a kid or not a kid when she was I guess when she was like a freshman that she like just thought that her and I were like meant to be. She always told me that shit. So it just uh, stacked on top with saying something like that, plus that card. I was like, dude, like you need to stop. 
It is very weird. So, okay, here's here's the question. What is what is the creepiest thing that a woman has done to you? See, I can't think of any that comes to mind. I can I think there's one, but like I don't remember if it was just me being weird or just like uh, I don't know. I think she evil answered in her question. She's doing the finger thing with you. I can't do that shit. Y'all are freaks. It looks like I broke my fingers. It, it really does. Ugh. That looks horrible. Ugh. The only thing I can do with my fingers, well, I don't even remember how it worked, but it was the whole church and the steeple, look at all the people bullshit. Oh, the eat pussy uh, thing? Oh, yeah. No, what? Yeah. Like, Is it eat it pussy? Like, and it looks like a pussy. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. Church in the steeple. It's supposed to like. I thought it was like right there. It was like (laughs) right there in the steeple. Oh, I thought it was like it was like this. It was like here's the church, here's the steeple. Then you open up and here's all the people. And you're like, oh, oh look, (laughs) and open up and look at my pussy. Oh, that's a pussy. It's like a sarlacc pit. I make a snake with my hand, complete with eyes and tongue. What? Oh, that's freaky. Yeah, that, I always wanted to do like like shadow puppets and stuff. That, that. I used to all oh, that. That was another one I used to be able to do. Yeah. <laughs> there was I used to be able to make a dog. I can't do it. I don't remember how to do it anymore. But my cousin taught me. My, oh no, I just did it. Is it? Here you go. Like, see, it's a dog. I got the basic. Bark, bark, I got the bark. bunny. I got the bunny rabbit. You do a wolf. <laughs> I get cuckoo, the bunny rabbit. Cuckoo. Or you could do the you could do the Napoleon Dynamite the fucking the, like the bird. I'll try to get a pic, but I got to use both hands. Ah, <clears throat> uh, well, well, I mean, yeah, we can't take the picture. Yeah, take the picture for you. Okay, all right. Here's a question. All right, well, so here's here's a question. Okay, what sucks about being a dude? And then for the girls out there, what sucks about being a girl? Gym sometimes being a dude. Why? I want to readjust my balls, but then just in front of so many people, I just can't. Oh, I yeah. just do just it. Can't. I just do it. I'm like, I don't want to fucking <laughs> censor it about the thing. Thank God. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. Like, no, nope, just gotta, gotta just. Yeah, you gotta whoop. Yeah, you gotta do the old squat. Yeah, the old <laughs> flamingo the walk. Well, see, to separate everything. See, that's why I do it anyway because everyone and their mother knows what you're fucking doing anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but then <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have to like. Get the sanitizer from my hands. I'm about to touch the next machine. I don't be oh yeah, balls to handle <laughs> with everything. <laughs> yeah, I do. See, the thing is, if I do that in, in public, uh, I've because def- there's like there's like levels of the ball sticking to your leg, right? There's like okay, there's a minor stick, and all you gotta do is like a leg shake. Then there's like a medium stick where you gotta do the squatty motion, and then there's the hard. Stuck behind your leg stick, <laughs> where you like, gotta actually uh, reach in your pants and get that fucking <laughs> shit out. You gotta scoop that ball. <laughs> That's the worst. That's funny. Um, I think for me is like having to fart all the time. Like I feel like women don't have to like fart a lot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. <laughs> This is like a nonchalant. He just turned over. Just fucking. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Continue. I, that's it. What? I just had to like farting. Like I feel like women don't have to fart as much as like men. Oh, do. now that is not true. Like, yeah, but like they hide it so well. Like I feel like I need to fart sometimes. Like it hurts. I need to fart. <laughs> I just gotta do it. Like a woman's <laughs> fart sounds like a flute. Yours just sounds like a trombone. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. That's, 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 see, that's also not, dude. My if you were around, my my sister is like the king of farting, queen of farting. Yeah, it doesn't count. It's your sister. That's, that's a woman. To you, that's she has te- a vagina. To you, that's, that's, that's to you. That's technically not even a girl. That's your sister. That's true. That is true. Yo, what's up? Shouts out to Denver, Colorado. What up? What, what, up, up? De- what up, Denver? Yeah, we yeah. talking about we talking about queefs up in here. <laughs> Shout out to Denver, Colorado. We be queefing in Colorado and California, son. Yep. Women have mastered and we lost a viewer. <laughs> uh, women have mastered the art of crop dusting. Ain't that some shit? I mean, dude, women gotta fart just as much as dudes. They just, yeah, you were probably right. They probably are just more subtle about it. You very maybe maybe it's like well. So how do you think that works though? Because we have the same. Well, at least they for the butt, it's the same box. anatomy. They got a big old fart box. You got a fart box. Yeah, oh, they, they got fart, a storage system. A fart chamber. The like, fart ch- in and just like do their shit. It's like just like. An underground lair for any woman to go it was like to. Like the college humor video? Yeah. And you go there and just like, you know, just 
do your business and like there's a line maybe. <laughs> there's a line. <laughs> That's been the Bad Inputs Podcast. <laughs> Eloy, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter, spitting random shit like hot fire on Eloy underscore Valentine on Twitter. I'm wearing slippers, by the way, Tay. Colin, where can they find you? Is that Tay from, is that Tay from Persona 5? Okay, uh, they, you can find me on uh, the, the Twitters, uh, at the Ferg91. It's not at, at Bad Inputs up on the normal layout. That's, that's, this, that's this dude. Well, sort of half this dude. Over here, and then you find me right here. What is this channel you're watching right friggin' now? Toby, where can they find you jacking off? Jacking your microphone dick. <laughs> you can find me on Bad Inputs, no I, and uh, on the Twitches, and on Twitter, you can find me at Donald Date J Trump. And, um, <laughs> thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> I would actually love if that's who, who was actually running the Twitter. <laughs> was, uh, play us out, call us some music. <laughs>